Hey everyone, welcome to Tinkerverse. So today we're going to tackle a controversial subject, which is using AI to generate artwork for laser engraving. So stick around and uh, I'm going to walk you through how I used both free and paid AI tools to generate images like this. So the reason that AI is a little controversial is that, uh, you know, a lot of people feel that it's taking away from the graphics design artists that are out there. And while that's true, um, I will always advocate using a graphics artist, um, graphics designer, if you have the means. However, there are going to be small, uh, you know, one man shops out there that don't have somebody on staff and can't afford to hire somebody. And maybe they just need a quick image like this uh, based off an idea that they had to laser engrave. Um, now, you could go out to services like Fiverr and, you know, roll the dice and see if you can come up with somebody who can give you something that you're looking for. Um, or you could do a quick and dirty version, which is to use AI. And so I'm going to show you two different versions here today. I'm going to show you both a paid version with mid-journey, and I'm going to show you a free uh, option with um, a, an online coloring book generator. So the key thing is building your prompts. And with mid-journey, uh, I know that there's instructions out there that talk about how you can say, you know, in laser engraving style or clip art style, but really coloring book style is more or less what we're after many times. It's it's clean, bold lines. It's something that can easily be traced and vectorized uh, in the application, um, you know, in Lightburn or Inkscape or whatever you're going to use to generate maybe an SVG file. Um, you know, so having these just dark, crisp, bold lines to trace over makes all the difference without all the noise. So, you know, I've done images in the past where it's heavy on shading, for example. This is very difficult to trace. There's a lot of shading, there's a lot of coloring. And it's hard to get, you know, to use the laser engraving style method to get something that I'm truly happy with. So recently I've switched over to using coloring book style. So coloring book style is what we're after. And so my prompt for the next version of this is I want to take, um, and let's take this. I'm going to take, imagine, and this is not how to use mid-journey. This is not how to set up mid-journey. This is just showing you uh, the use of that coloring book style to generate something that's closer to what we want. Uh, so coloring book style, clean, bold black lines on a white background, cartoon cat, full body spacesuit with his face in the visor, uh, planets and stars in the background. So let's give that a shot with mid journey and see what it comes back with. Yeah, that's not bad. I actually kind of like some of these. I like that second one. So let's upscale that second one. Yeah, and I'm going to copy this and I'm going to go into light burn. Let's get rid of this guy here and I'm going to paste that in and now I've got an image I can trace. So I'm just going to do alt T or you can do, uh, you know, tools, trace image. And I'm going to zoom in to kind of make sure I'm getting what I want. Let me fade the image and I'm going to bump up my threshold a little bit just so that I get those nice thick black lines and that everything looks like it's tracing the way that I want it to. So I'd say that's not too bad. So let me go ahead and trace that and pull out the original. And there you go. So we've got this little cute little space uh, astronaut cat here um, in just a matter of a couple seconds using mid-journey. So now let's do something similar, but we're gonna do this with free tools. So let's jump over to an, a website called iColoring and they have an AI coloring page generator. And again, that's exactly what we're looking for. So I'm going to go back to my prompt and let's paste that in. So a cat in a full body space suit, face visible. So same prompt, just without all the beginning stuff. And let's see. Um, so for this, you get a couple of preset samples. Um, I find cartoon gives me the cleanest lines, but play around with the different designs and you might find something that works better for what you want. Now, this is free, but it works off of credit. So you'll see up here credits 47. 
Um, it seems my credits do refresh on a regular basis. Uh, I had run this down pretty low earlier, and then I came back a little while ago before I started recording, and I was back up to 50. Uh, so if you blow through your credits, don't worry, they'll regenerate. Uh, and there is not a way to go pay for this. I, I can't seem to, you know, say, hey, I want unlimited credits. It's just, it is free. And it is free for commercial use because I'm generating images that are not IP for anybody else. They were not done by anybody else. These are mine at this point, And I can include these on my commercial products uh, that I want to sell. Um, so there you go. So there's another cat, uh, cat astronaut there. Um, just for grins, let's try an anime style. I just want to see what the difference looks like. Okay, that's not too bad. Um, a lot of uh, darker sections there that, um, yeah, I don't know. So let's see. Let's look at uh, sci-fi line. I'm just kind of winging it here. I want to see what these look like. But you'll see my credits are going down every time I click on this. That's cool, but it's a little wonky, um, and it's a little more detail than I want. So let's go back to cartoon. And actually, I can come down here and look at my previous generated ones. So let's let's kind of go back to this original one. And let's find my light burn. There it is. Let's drop that in there. And the same thing, Alt-T or uh, Tools Trace. I'm going to fade my image and make sure that I've got some nice, clean, crisp lines. Okay, so see here, the blue, yeah, I want to bump that up a little bit. Not too much. Okay. Um, let's see what that looks like. I can always redo it again later. Oh, it's not too bad. Looking at the original, looking at the ears here, I'm just kind of focusing on some of the more detailed areas, and yeah, I'd say that's a decent trace. So there you go. Um, so just by using the prompt, uh, the keywords coloring book or coloring page in your prompt gets you uh, some really good, clean, crisp images to work with that are easy to trace in Lightburn. Um, or if you're not using Lightburn, obviously Inkscape or AI or something like that, uh, or you know Adobe Illustrator. But um, yeah, hopefully this kind of gives you guys some inspiration to play with for your next laser project. And again, if you have the means, buy a, please support your graphic artists. If you don't have the means, this is a good way to get started using AI tools. So, um, you know, don't roast me in the comments. I, I, I appreciate the, the, the artists out there, and I appreciate that there's some pushback on AI. Um, but, you know, I just want to cater to the, uh, the little guy out there who may not be able to afford you yet. Um, so, all right. Till next time. See you later.